Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, welcome back In the previous video, we have studied the consonant sounds in terms of where they are articulated or the place of articulation Now, in this video, we are going to discuss the same consonant sounds in terms of how they are articulated or manner of articulation The first one we have stops or plosives and g are produced by stopping the airstream briefly then letting it go abruptly now let's try to say pan pan don't forget to stop the airstream briefly then let it go abruptly let's try the other words book book ten ten tip tip key key go go now we are able to describe the consonant sounds how well to create a definition for its consonant sound we can use the distinction between voiced or voiceless plus the terms for the place of articulation plus the terms for manner of articulation let's describe them again by using the distinction between voiced or voiceless plus the place of articulation and manner of articulation the first one oh. at the beginning of pan is a voiceless bilabial stop but at the beginning of book is a voiced bilabial stop the at the beginning of tan is a voiceless alveolar stop the at the beginning of tip is a voiced alveolar stop the next ones is a voiceless velar stop and k is a voiced velar stop the second term used to describe how consonant sounds are articulated is called fricatives we have are all produced by almost blocking the airstream and having the air pushed through a very narrow opening. Now, let's try to open your hand and put it in front of your mouth, then say, photo, photo. Can you feel the airstream being pushed out? Yes, because you block the airstream and have it pushed through a very narrow opening. Let's try the other words. Save, save, teeth, teeth, then, then, sip, sip, zoo, zoo, shout, shout, treza, treza. Now let's describe each consonant sound. is a voiceless labiodental fricative v is a voiced labiodental fricative th is a voiceless dental fricative z is a voiced dental fricative Is 
the voiceless alveolar fricative. Z is a voiced alveolar fricative. Ch is a voiceless palatal fricative. J is a voiced palatal fricative. The next one we have H sound at the beginning of the words like hi or maybe hello this is the symbol this is voiceless glottal fricative the third one is affricates there are two consonant sounds j and j to produce them we combined of brief stopping of the stream with an obstructed release which causes some friction now let's try to say chip chip and chip chip see to produce them we combined of a brief stopping of the airstream with an obstructed release which causes some friction now let's try to describe them at the beginning of chip is a voiceless palatal african and j at the beginning of chip is a voiced palatal african the next one we have nasals there are three consonant sounds we have um N and ang. To produce them, the volume is lowered and the air stream is allowed to flow through the nose. Let's try to say king, king, mouse, mouse, nut, nut. Let's describe them. Um is a voiced bilabial nasal. An is a voiced alveolar nasal. Um is a voiced velar nasal. Number five, liquids. There are two consonant sounds, L and R. To produce L sound, we let the airstream flow around the sides of the tongue as the tongue tip makes contact with the middle of the alveolar ridge. Then, to produce R sound, the tongue tip raised and curl back near the alveolar ridge. Let's try to say let, let, red, red. Let's define the consonant sounds. L, uh, like in let, is a voiced alveolar. Liquid R is a voiced alveolar liquid. The sixth one we have glides. There are two consonant sounds W and Y. To produce W and Y sounds, the tongue is in motion to or from the position of a vowel. Now, let's try to say wet, wet, yes, yes, see, the tongue is in motion to or from the position of a vowel. Let's divine them, again, by using the distinction between voiced 
or voiceless plus the place of articulation and manner of articulation W is a voiced bilabial client Y is a voiced palatal client There are also two common terms used to describe ways of pronouncing consonants. They are the glottal stop and the flap. Let's discuss the first one, the glottal stop. Occurs when the space between the vocal cords is closed, then release. Let's try to say battle, button, battle, button. The part in the middle is now pronounced. This sound is considered to be characteristic of Cockney speech or Scottish speakers or New Yorkers. The next one we have. This sound is produced by the tongue tip tapping the alveolar ridge briefly. Many American English speakers tend to flap the t and t consonants between vowels so that in casual speech, the pairs letter, letter, or writer, writer do not have distinct middle consonants. They all have flaps. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.